Hello and welcome to this non-sleep, deep rest, yoga nidra body scan. This type of practice is designed to help you calm the nervous system, perhaps bring yourself some stress reduction, relaxation, and more mental clarity. It is best to do this practice in a place where you will have limited distractions and where you feel comfortable and safe. It may be useful to take a moment to turn off your phone's notifications or to put it on silent and perhaps let anyone around you or in your house or apartment or wherever you are know that you're taking some time to yourself and to avoid interrupting you. See if you can allow yourself or give yourself permission to set aside this time. In today's seemingly distracted, non-stop busy world, this can often be a radical act. It's an act of caring for yourself, of developing a sense of agency, a sense of power to control how you are doing from moment to moment. It will help you open to your innate capacity to calm your nervous system, to bring about relaxation, or to bring about a little more space and clarity in your mind, which often leads us to make better decisions, to be kinder to those around us and to ourselves, which certainly leads to a better quality of life. And when we engage in this type of practice, See if you can let go of your sense of striving, of needing to get somewhere, whether that's per se to relax or to avoid something. We're simply trying to be as we are in this moment, accepting it and ourselves for how we are right now, because that is what is here. For better or worse, it's part of our present moment, and we're going to practice letting go of our impulsive desire to have things be different than how they are right now. Now, if you do notice any distractions, these are often noises in your environment, seeing if you can just allow that to be as as it is, not getting distracted or pulled away from the practice because of these sounds. Ideally, you'll find a comfortable chair to sit in or a comfortable place to lie down, whether that's on the floor or on a yoga mat on the floor or on a couch or on a bed. Really what matters is that you're able to have a comfortable posture that allows you into this type of practice. So seeing if you can follow my guidance as best you can, noticing how your body responds and the activity of your mind, noticing and letting go of any potential judgmental, critical, or avoidant thoughts, and doing your best to stay with the practice and just to notice what's happening as it is happening. As I mentioned, we're really not trying to feel a certain way. We are simply practicing coming into a relationship with the present moment as it is, giving ourselves the space and the permission to be with what is. Now, if you do fall asleep, then that's okay. The suggestion is to try not to fall asleep, although if that is what happens, then that's probably what your body needs in this moment. And just allowing yourself to give yourself what you need. So if you're sitting down, just placing your hands in a comfortable place, perhaps on your thighs and your lap or on the arms of the chair. And if you're lying down, we're lying down on our back in what is traditionally known as the corpse position in yoga. Palms open to the ceiling, allowing our feet to fall away from each other. And if you need to put a pillow under your legs or just adjust yourself so that you are comfortable, please go ahead and do that. 
So let's start with by bringing our attention to our breath. Perhaps just allowing yourself to take a few breaths in the natural rhythm of your body in this moment. Now let's take three or four purposefully deep breaths while we will breathe in through the nose. And as we breathe out, breathing out of our mouth as if we had a straw in our mouth and we're slowly blowing all the air out of our lungs in a slow, long exhale. So just going ahead and taking a few deep breaths like that in through the nose. A nice slow exhale through the small hole in our lips. As if we were blowing bubbles through a straw in a drink. Perhaps bringing your attention to your stomach and your belly as you inhale and exhale. Allowing your body to become heavy and allowing the surface underneath you to support you. Perhaps imagining yourself just sinking into the chair, the floor, the bed, the mat. So if it's helpful for you, you could imagine yourself standing over yourself now as if you were watching yourself or staying with eyes closed in your body and directing the attention from within. We'll start by bringing our attention from our breath down the left leg all the way out into the left foot and in to the left toes the toes of your left foot. So just noticing any sensations in your toes. Maybe you can notice the big toe, the middle toes, your baby toe. And if you do not notice any sensations or you cannot tune in to your awareness that you have toes, then that's okay too. Just allowing yourself to be as you are, and noting that not sensing, not aware of my toes in this moment. And if you can avoid moving your toes, right? We're not moving the toes, we're just sensing that they're there. And perhaps with another out breath, as we've returned to just a natural flow of breathing, as you breathe out, moving your awareness or the spotlight of your attention into the bottom of your left foot. Just noticing if any sensations in the bottom of your left foot. Perhaps you can notice the floor underneath your foot if you're in a chair. Or if you're lying down, you may notice the air touching your skin or your socks or anything you have on your feet. Perhaps breathing in, and as we breathe out, letting go of the bottom of our foot, moving through the heel, noticing its contact with the bed, if you're lying down, and up to the top of your left foot. Perhaps noticing any streams of thoughts about your left foot and allowing that to pass and really bringing our awareness to the sensations happening in the top of our left foot. Many bones in our feet. And on the next exhale, moving your awareness up into the lower leg the shin and the calf muscle. What does it feel like to have a lower leg? The raw sensations present in your mind or in your body. 
Just allowing your body to be as it is. Moving our attention after a nice exhale up into the knee. Just noticing the front of the knee or the kneecap, the back of the knee. Just allowing it to be as it is. And moving up from the left knee up into the left thigh and the upper leg. Just sensing, feeling the sensations or noticing that you have an upper leg. Perhaps you can notice the surface underneath your hamstrings or the back of the leg. If possible, letting go of any tension or apprehension or distractions, whether that's your thoughts or body sensations. Perhaps you're thinking about what your next meal is going to be or any plans you have later in the day or what you're going to do when this practice is finished. Or perhaps you're thinking about something that happened earlier or yesterday. Perhaps imagining your legs sinking into the mat. And on the next exhale, letting go of the left thigh and bringing our attention back down, this time on the right leg, into the right foot, out into the toes of your right foot. Again, without per se moving the toes, just sensing the toes. Noticing the big toe, the toes in between, the baby toe. Remembering there's no right way for your toes to be right now. Maybe noticing the big toe, toes in between, all the way out to the baby toe. And on the next exhale, letting go of the toes and shifting to the bottom of the right foot. Just breathing, allowing yourself to breathe. And moving on from the bottom of the right foot into the heel and the top of the right foot. Just noting any sensations. Moving on from the top of the right foot in through the ankle and heel up into the lower leg. So the shin and the calf of your right leg. Again, noting any distractions or if your mind is wandering off somewhere. Just kindly returning your attention to the lower right leg. And on your next exhale, bringing that attention up into the right knee. Now letting go of the right knee and bringing our awareness to the right thigh. All the way between our pelvis and our knee, the right thigh, the hamstring, the quads, and all the other muscles and tendons and bones. Just noticing any sensations in the right thigh. Perhaps you can imagine your right thigh sinking into the mat or the bed or the chair. Perhaps you notice any particular sensations, tension, lightness, tingling, perhaps no sensations, and just noting that as well. And on the next exhale, bring your attention up into the pelvic area. So that's from one hip to the other and your bum. So maybe just noticing your bum making contact with the bed or the chair or the mat or the surface. And if you can allow yourself or imagine yourself, your lower body sinking into the mat. And perhaps breathing in to this region, noticing the pelvic area. And breathing out from there. Nowhere to go, 
Nothing to do, just allowing ourselves to be as we are. So now bringing our attention from the pelvis into the lower back, this area that connects into our pelvic area, lower body. Just noting any sensations you have in your lower back. And this is often an area that causes a lot of tension for people or discomfort, many injuries in the lower back. So just breathing into the lower back, noting any sensations, and expanding your awareness around your belly and belly button, just above the groin area. Just noting that whole area of your body. If you can imagine breathing out any discomfort or tension, allowing or offering yourself the opportunity to let go. Moving up into the stomach the middle, back, rib cage area. Just noticing that part of our upper body. And how our ribs curve around our organs, protecting them. Perhaps noticing as you inhale how your stomach and rib cage expand slightly on the inhale and contracts on the exhale. And as you breathe in, perhaps imagining yourself being nourished by the oxygen, nourishing your body, and as you exhale, releasing, letting go of any tension. Just knowing how the, noticing how the stomach can expands. Your diaphragm helps bring in the air. This whole intricate system of our bodies working to keep us alive and to nourish us is really quite remarkable. Just noticing how your heart is working all the time with all your other organs. Again, nourishing you and allowing you to go about your business from moment to moment. Now let's just move up into the upper chest, the upper back, where our shoulder blades are, and our pectoral muscles. Just letting go, remembering there's nowhere to go. We're here now with ourselves. Now we'll bring our attention to both of our hands at the same time, and we'll start out in the fingertips and the fingers of both hands. Just noticing any sensations in your fingers, perhaps in your fingertips where it's often easy or noticeable, any tingling or cold, hot, warm sensations. Perhaps you can notice the pulse of your blood somewhere in your fingers. Expanding our awareness from the fingers into the palms and the back of our hands. Just noticing any particular temp temperature, tingling, 
Any sensations happening in your hands? Moving up into the wrists, noticing, and again, sometimes there's an awareness of a pulse happening here. Just allowing ourselves to be as we are, not trying to get anywhere, have any special experience. Moving up into the forearms, just experiencing your forearms as they are. When was the last time you really paid attention to what was happening in your forearms? Now moving up into the upper arms, our biceps and triceps, and noticing perhaps the armpits, And just noticing what it's like to have an upper arm. Allowing yourself to fall into a state of deep relaxation. Sinking into the bed or the mat or the chair. Now let's move up into the shoulders and upper back, lower neck area. Again, certainly another area where many people experience discomfort and pain. We often seem to carry a lot of tension in this area of our body. Let's see if we can breathe in a sense of comfort and kindness into our shoulders and lower neck and breathing out any tension, discomfort, aches or pains. Again, noticing if your mind wanders off or if you are getting distracted by those thoughts or by sounds or other things in your environment right now. Just if you can, let go of those things, returning your attention to your body and to this practice. Allowing yourself to be as you are. Now let's move up into the neck, to the back of the neck, the front of the neck, and the throat area. Again, just noting the sensations in this area of your body or what it's like to have a neck and a throat. Perhaps noticing when you swallow and what that actually feels like. Or noticing the sensation of air that comes in, goes down to the back of your throat. And on the next exhale, letting go of the neck area. Moving up into our jaw and the back of our head and our cheeks. Certainly another area where we often create tension or just through the process of our day and talking and chewing and eating and all the other activities of the jaw. Seeing if you can allow or notice your jaw and see if you can just let go a little bit. Relaxing your jaw. What might it be like for your jaw to relax? And moving around to the mouth, to the nose and our lips. Noticing your tongue and the sensations inside your mouth and throat. Perhaps if you were breathing through the nose, maybe take a couple breaths through the mouth and just noticing the sensations in your mouth as you breathe through your mouth. Moving up into the nose and into the eyes and your eyebrows and that space between your eyebrows. 
and noticing the back of your head as well. What does it feel like in the back of your head and in your eyes, nose, and just allowing ourselves to be as we are as we sink and dwell in this state of relaxation. Perhaps noticing our temples, foreheads, maybe with the out breath, if you can allow your temples and forehead, which is often making all kinds of movements as well throughout the day, just allowing it to relax. Moving into our ears, all the work that our ears do for us from moment to moment, allowing our ears to be as they are. Now perhaps our whole face, back of the head, ears, cheeks, forehead, everything, just noticing it all as one area of energy and see if we can offer our face and head the invitation to relax by just letting our face and head be as it is. No need to put on a face or to pretend to be a certain way, allowing your face to be as it is. Moving our awareness up into the top of the head. Perhaps you can notice any sensations in the top of your head. Now let's imagine our awareness going from the top of our head all the way down through the head and neck and shoulders, arms, chest, belly, body, pelvic region, upper legs, knees, lower legs, and down into our feet, toes, bottom of our feet. And then bringing our attention to the whole body, the body as a whole, from top to body, one large energy field of sensation. And imagining your whole body sinking into the chair or to the mat. Letting go of any tension. Letting go of any need to be anywhere than where you are in this moment. Perhaps acknowledging this moment as a source of healing and strength, reminding yourself that you are able to bring yourself this attention, whether in a structured format such as this or just in any moment, recognizing and perhaps even thanking yourself for bringing yourself this type of nourishing attention. Just allowing our lives and ourselves and the world to be as it is. Beyond our judgments and stories and images about ourselves, about other people, about how the world should or should not be. And letting go of our tendency to want things to be different than how they are. And again, allowing yourself to just be as you are now. Nothing needs to happen. We don't need to be anywhere. Just being totally present and aware as you are here and now. Now let's take a few purposefully deep breaths, letting out a nice long exhale. <sighs> Perhaps sighing. <sighs> now, perhaps slowly moving 
out of that practice and bringing our awareness back to our bodies. We may want to start wiggling our toes and feet and fingers. Slowly moving the body around, perhaps having a nice stretch if that feels right for you. Just not moving too quickly. Noticing the transition out of that practice into the movements of the body. And perhaps reminding yourself that this calmness, this state of being, again, is available to you at any moment. And as you transition out, just allowing this awareness, this sense of calm and relaxation to be with you as you move into your next task and activity and duty and responsibility. And again, thanking yourself for making the decision to be here, to give yourself this moment and this time for yourself. Perhaps how nourishing this relaxation and clarity is to your being. And letting it provide you with a sense of wisdom and calm and balance and clarity. And I wish you the best as you move on throughout your day. Thank you so much for taking the time to practice here with me. And I wish you the best as you go about your day. Peace.